So the project for today is to polish up and clean these headlamp covers. As you can see, there's quite a bit of scratching and contamination. It's baked by the sun. I actually already went over it once with a magic eraser. But we are going to polish them, get them crystal clear. So what we're going to use is micro mesh, and we're going to go from 1500 grit all the way to 12,000 grit. We're also going to use semi-chrome polish made in Germany. That'll give us a nice polish. And then we're going to follow it up with Renaissance Museum Quality Micro Crystalline Wax Polish. It was developed for the British Museum and they use it on fine furniture. And that will give us a final polish and a wax coat. All right, see how it turns out. So first we just want to wet it down and then we are going to take our 50 1500 grit, which is pretty gritty, and this is going to scratch and roughen it up and get those big scratches and imperfections out. But when we get done with this grit, it's actually going to look pretty cloudy because we're actually going to be putting a bunch of smaller scratches all over the surface. But as we go down or up in our grit count, it'll get finer and finer. We'll be making smaller and smaller scratches until the scratches are so tiny you can't even see them. All right, so after that first micro mesh of 1500, you can see it's actually more cloudy. There's a lot of fine scratches. But what we're doing is taking off all the surface contaminants and any major big scratches. And then we're gonna gradually start working finer and finer until you can't even see the scratches anymore. All right, more to come. Okay, so I finished with the 1500 and the 1800 grit. And you can see it's very cloudy with a lot of micro scratches. But now we're going to move to a finer grit of 2400. And again, this is micro mesh. You can get it on Amazon and it helps you polish things like headlamp covers, uh, crystals on watches, uh, old valuable pens things like that. All right, more to come. All right, so now I'm on my fourth grit, which is a 3200 grit, all the way down from 1500, which is very rough or coarse. And we're getting finer and finer. But you gotta remember, spray it with water. When it gets super dry, give it another little spray with a water bottle. And then I like to do each grit maybe three or four minutes. Just keep doing circles. The more you do, the better, but obviously your arms are gonna get very tired and sore after a while. Especially since I already did the other side. I'm really starting to feel the burn. And then when you get done with each grit, a shot with a water bottle and then take a towel and just kind of dry it off you can see it's already starting to get better better and clearer but there's still some micro scratches but we still have five more grit strengths to go finer and finer so by the time we're done it should be crystal clear yep getting there all right so now we only have about three more grits to go and you can already see the improvement starting to shine 
a little bit of cloudiness, but that's all gonna go away. And you can always use a helper when your arms get very sore, like your wife. Many hands make light work. Mm -hmm. All right, we're on the final grit. 12,000. It's almost just perfectly smooth. And we're not going to use a lot of water. This is going to give it its final polish. Get rid of all those micro scratches. You won't even be able to see them. see how crystal clear everything looks. Very smooth. Alright, so that's what it looks like after the final micro mesh. And next we're going to use the semi-chrome Polish from Germany. I'm going to put a little bit on a magic eraser, but you could use any sponge or soft cloth. And okay, we're just going to go wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Polish on, polish off. And we'll let this dry to a haze. Buff it off, and then we'll put our final polishing wax on there. All right, so finally, we're going to put this micro crystalline wax polish Renaissance Museum quality. Very soft cloth. This is actually for a baby. And we're just going to apply it here in circles. And then we'll let it dry to a haze. And then do a final buff. And you'll see these headlights look like they're brand new. All right, so once you got a nice little haze on this, you just want to buff it off with a nice soft cloth. Put some elbow grease in there. Get all that haze out. Polish and wax it really nice. And then stand back and look at your finished product. Good job.